Martin and O.S.A. Johnson, Wikipedia article audio. Martin Elmer Johnson and his wife O.S.A. Helen Johnson were American adventurers and documentary filmmakers. Biography Safaris I Married Adventure O.S.A. Johnson's The Big Game Hunt Martin and O.S.A. Johnson Safari Museum Sister Museums Musée de Manega and Saba Museum Disney's Animal Kingdom Lodge Martin and O.S.A. Other References Selected Filmography Bibliography In the first half of the 20th century an American couple, Martin and O.S.A. Johnson, captured the public's imagination through their films and books of adventure in exotic, faraway lands. Photographers, explorers, marketers, naturalists, and authors, Martin and O.S.A. studied the wildlife and peoples of East and Central Africa, the South Pacific Islands and British North Borneo. They explored then unknown lands and brought back film footage and photographs, offering many Americans their first understanding of these distant lands. O.S.A. Lady was born and raised in Chanute, Kansas. Although born in Rockford, Illinois, Martin Johnson grew up in Lincoln, Kansas, and Independence, Kansas. Martin Johnson took part as a crew member and cook in Jack London's 1907-1909 voyage across the Pacific aboard the Snark. After that, he started a traveling road show that toured the United States displaying photographs and artifacts collected on the voyage. He met O.S.A. Lady while passing through her hometown of Chanute, Kansas, and they married in May 1910. In 1917, Martin and O.S.A. departed on a nine-month trip through the New Hebrides and Solomon Islands. The highlight of the trip was a brief, but harrowing, encounter with a tribe called the Big Nambas of northern Malekula. Once there, the chief was not going to let them leave. The intervention of a British gunboat helped them escape. The footage they got there inspired the feature film Among the Cannibal Isles of the South Seas. The Johnsons returned to Malekula in 1919 to film the Big Nambas once again this time with an armed escort. The escort proved unnecessary as the Big Nambas were disarmed by watching themselves in among the cannibal isles of the South Seas. Martin and O.S.A. finished their trip in 1920 with visits to British North Borneo and a sailing expedition up the coast of East Africa. After returning home, they released the features Jungle Adventures and Headhunters of the South Seas. The Johnson's first African expedition, from 1921 to 1922, resulted in their feature film Trailing Wild African Animals. During the second and longest trip, from 1924 to 1927, the Johnsons spent much of their time in northern Kenya by a lake they dubbed Paradise, at Mount Marzabit. The movie's Martin's Safari, O.S.A.'s Four Years in Paradise, and the film Simba, King of the Beasts were made with footage of these trips. In 1925, O.S.A. and Martin met the Duke and Duchess of York, later King George VI and Queen Elizabeth, while on safari in Kenya. The third African safari from 1927 to 1928 was a tour of the Nile with friend and supporter George Eastman, founder of Eastman Kodak. This trip, along with previous footage was one of the first talkies for the Johnsons, across the world with Mr. and Mrs. Johnson, which included Martin's narrative. In 1928 three Eagle Scouts were selected in national competition to go on safari with the Johnsons in East Africa, Robert Dick Douglas, Jr., of North Carolina, 
David R. Martin, Jr., of Minnesota, and Douglas L. Oliver of Georgia. The Three Scouts co-authored the 1928 book Three Boy Scouts in Africa. Douglas was an attorney, Martin became an executive in the Boy Scouts of America, and Oliver was an emeritus professor of anthropology at both Harvard University and the University of Hawaii. From 1929 to 1931, the Johnsons spent a fourth tour in Africa in the Belgian Congo. There they filmed the Beauty People of the Ichiri Forest and the Gorillas in the Alambongo Hills. The 1932 feature movie Kong Gorilla was in part a product of this trip, and was the first movie with sound authentically recorded in Africa. In 1932 the Johnsons learned to fly at the Chanute Municipal Airport in OSA's hometown of Chanute. Once they had their pilot's licenses, they purchased two Sikorsky amphibious planes, AS-39CS Spirit of Africa and S-38BS OSA's Ark. On their fifth African trip, from 1933 to 1934, the Johnsons flew the length of Africa getting now classic aerial scenes of large herds of elephants, giraffes, and other animals moving across the plains of Africa. They were the first pilots to fly over Mt. Kilimanjaro and Mt. Kenya in Africa and film them from the air. The 1935 feature film Babona was made from this footage. On January 3, 1935 Babona was shown on an Eastern Airlines plane becoming the first sound movie shown during flight. The movie premiered January 22, 1935 at the Rialto Theatre in New York City. In 1935, the Johnsons were featured on Wheaties cereal boxes as champions of sports. O.S.A. Johnson was the second female to appear on the box and she and Martin were the first married couple selected for this honor. The Johnsons' final trip together took them to British North Borneo again, from 1935 to 1936. They used their smaller amphibious plane, now renamed the Spirit of Africa and Borneo, and produced footage for the feature Borneo. Martin Johnson was a member of the Adventurers Club of New York. He described the Borneo expedition before the club on November 19, 1936, the event being called Martin Johnson Night. He previewed his Borneo pictures before the group on December 17, 1936. Martin Johnson died in the crash of a Western Air Express flight near Newhall. California, on January 12, 1937. OSA was severely injured but recovered. By October 1937, the New York Times was publishing dispatches of OSA's latest trip to Africa, in which she described lifestyles and practices of the Masse and other tribes. She died in New York City of a heart attack in 1953. O.S.A. Johnson's autobiography I Married Adventure was the best-selling non-fiction book of 1940. The continued popularity of IMA with its zebra-striped cover has generated interest in collecting first editions. It had been thought book covers with the title I Married Adventure were first editions and those with I Married Adventure were later editions. The edition variations are now known due to years of collecting and studying all IMA editions by J.E. Paul Lewison of New York. A title with adventure in italics can be a first edition or a book of the month club edition or a seventh edition. The difference is determined by examining the copyright page. First editions will include manufactured in the United States of America by the Haddon Craftsman, Inc., Camden, and Dot J. BMC editions state printed in the United States of America plus the BMC logo is on the dust jacket.
7th edition specifically state 7th impression. Confusingly the 7th edition had both adventure and adventure versions. Television's first wildlife series, O.S.A. Johnson's The Big Game Hunt a.k.a. The Big Game Hunt, premiered in 1952. The 26 half-hour episodes were released by Explorers Pictures and primarily used Johnson film. Episodes introduced by O.S.A. Johnson were African Army, Boy Scouts in Africa, Climbing Fish, The Floating Terror, Giant Elephants, Goring Brutes, Headhunters of Borneo, Jungle Panic, Jungle Power, Jungle Warriors, Rhinoceros, Simba's Trail, Slinking Fury, and Weird Tribes. Episodes introduced by Yvonne T. Sanderson were Armed Menace, Cameras in the Wilderness, Herds of Destruction, Jaws of Death, Kill to Live, Man Eaters of the Maasai, Monkey Safari, Orang Utan, Pygmy Hunters, Return to Adventure, Terror of the Plains and Trek Through the Wild Lands. The Martin and O.S.A. Johnson Safari Museum is located in O.S.A.'s hometown of Chanute, Kansas. Formed in 1961 to preserve the Johnsons' achievements and to encourage further research into their fields of study, the Safari Museum has grown and flourished. The museum started with a core collection of the Johnsons films, photographs, manuscripts, articles, books, and personal belongings donated by OSA's mother. The museum shares the beautiful old railroad depot with the Chanute Public Library. In 1998 the Martin and OSA Johnson Safari Museum was named by the History Channel Traveler website as one of the top 10 historic sites for Valentine's Day that capture romance, American style. In 2001 the pitch named Chanute, Kansas and the museum as best romantic day trip. The museum is governed by a 12-member volunteer board of trustees. Additionally, there are honorary trustees who help support and represent the museum. Honorary trustees include, Jack Badel, Robert Ballard, Kevin Brownlow, Gary K. Clark, Clive Cussler, Nancy Durbin, Jack Hanna, Ed Elbert, Joyce Harrell, Dick Houston, Yvonne Houston, Eleanor and Pascal Imperato, Skylar Jones, Nancy Landon Casabom Baker, Kenneth Love, Margaret Moore, Mike Resnick, K. and George Schaller, Igor Sikorsky, Jr., Roy Thomas, Malin Wallace III, Stan Walsh, Keith Wachope and Holly Wofford. Honorary trustees in memoriam include, Mariana Beach, Vern Carstens, Dick Douglas, Clark Getz, Byron Harrell, Bell Lady, David Martin, Douglas Oliver, C. Jackson Seltzer, Ken Helm Stott, Jr., Lowell Thomas, Joseph Tilton, and Helen and George Wachhope. The Martin and O.S.A. Johnson Safari Museum has two international sister museums, Musée de Manega in Burkina Faso and Sabah Museum in Sabah, Malaysia. These partnerships resulted from curatorial exchanges in 2000 and 2004 through the International Partnerships Among Museums program. On February 22, 2011 the Sabah Museum opened its Safari in Sandakan exhibit at the Sandakan Heritage Museum in Sabah, Malaysia. This exhibit covers the Johnsons 1920 and 1935 to 1936 Borneo expeditions and was designed by Sabah Museum curator Stella Mu. The Swara Community Filmmaking, in partnership with the Sabah Museum and the Sabah Society, has agreed on premiering the last film of OSA and Martin Johnson's Last Adventure in North Borneo. It was premiered on September 30, 2012 at the Borneo Echo Film Festival as it was the first time shown in Borneo.
The Walt Disney Company was the first organization to license Johnson film from the Martin and O.S.A. Johnson Safari Museum for the 1976 program filming Nature's Mysteries. Disney again licensed Johnson film as part of the Rafiki's Planet Watch at Disney's Animal Kingdom when it opened April 22, 1998. The architects and Disney team developing a new safari lodge borrowed Johnson Films from the museum in 1997 and 1998 for research and inspiration. Disney's Animal Kingdom Lodge opened April 16, 2001. Included is an ongoing exhibit of 36 Johnson photographs along with an original copy of O.S.A. Johnson's 1940 autobiography I Married Adventure in the Lodge's Sunset Lounge. Martin and O.S.A. Johnson were the namesake, inspiration, and background story for the 2006-2010 Martin and O.S.A. clothing line and national chain of 28 Martin and O.S.A. stores launched by American Eagle Outfitters. Martin and O.S.A. used references to the Johnsons on their clothing and accessories. Examples included 1910, S38, and NC52V. In 2016 the Martin and O.S.A. Johnson Safari Museum acquired the Martin and O.S.A. trademarks.